For the second time in four to six months, Norwegian Cruise Line is adding yet another strange item to their prohibited item list on ships. And this is, well, this is kind of strange because this is essentially just Norwegian Cruise Line doing this. Other cruise lines don't have these kind of like weird draconian type of prohibited item lists. Recently, they had banned fans of all types, whether it be a paper folding fan or the little battery operated ones. And I know the, the intent of this was probably to dissuade people from bringing big box fans on the ships or those hanging fans. I have one of those in my Amazon affiliate store. If you want to check that out, I'll post a link up in the right hand corner. Let's read the article and you can see what Norwegian is banning next. From Cruise Hive by Melissa Mayans, Norwegian Cruise Line adds another item to the banned items list. Norwegian Cruise Line has quietly added walkie talkies to their ever-growing prohibited items list, meaning guests can no longer bring their walkie talkies of any size or any kind on board. Now, ironically speaking, uh, and this is kind of weird, your watch, your Apple watch has walkie talkie capabilities on it, which is actually really strange. Um, are Apple watches now banned Norwegian Cruise Line? Let me know in the comments below. This may be a challenge for some travelers who use inexpensive walkie talkies to keep in touch while on the ship as different family members attend different activities. Norwegian Cruise Line recently updated this list to include walkie talkies. This makes 32 items now explicitly banned by the cruise line and follows another recent update where fans were banned in March of 2023. There's been no explanation or clarification of why walkie talkies are suddenly prohibited but there could be several reasons. One, the frequency of certain walkie talkies could possibly interfere with onboard signals, including radios used by crew members or frequencies that need to be kept clear for emergencies. Some walkie talkies might even interfere with the onboard Wi-Fi service, though this is unlikely. We're going full screen. That's bull crap. You know that ain't true. That's like texting on an airplane during takeoff. They used to say, oh, if you text on an airplane, the thing's gonna go down in flames because the signal is gonna disrupt the signal from the plane. That's just not how it works. These walkie talkies are so low powered. Ask me how I know. They can hardly go through a couple, a couple bits of metal on a cruise ship. These things are so staticky and unreliable. Anyways, some people have really good luck with these walkie talkies. I've never actually felt the need to try that because most of the cruise lines offer chat apps. And you know, Norwegian, if you're gonna ban walkie talkies, which is weird, you're, again, you're out of step with the rest of the cruise industry, like you often are, give free chat so families can keep in touch. That's really what needs to happen here. Let's get back into the article while my tangent goes on. The ban could also be a result of unruly behavior, such as young cruisers playing rowdy games involving walkie talkies. I don't know what that's referring to, or possibly throwing the small handheld radios and creating disturbances, though using them as a weapon, though no reports of behaviors like that have been made public. Some guests are speculating that the move could be an attempt by Norwegian Cruise Line. Ah, here it is to encourage guests to pay for the Wi-Fi package in order to use social media messaging or else pay for phone and messenger package that the cruise line sells through their app. There it is, yet another cash grab, most likely by Norwegian Cruise Line. Let's be real. We all know these cruise lines are out to make as much money as they can and Norwegian does a spectacular job at reaching into your pocket and pulling out a little bit more and more and more. Now rates for the in-app phone messaging and messaging access are $9.95 a person, 10 bucks, and the package does not include calls off of the cruise ship. Whatever the reason for the ban, all walkie talkies are now forbidden from Norwegian ships. Unlike the ban on small fans earlier this year that was later clarified with some exceptions, the prohibition on walkie talkies appears to be absolute, regardless of the size, style, manufacture, or the strength of the small radios. Some cruise travelers use walkie-talkies as inexpensive, convenient ways to keep in touch with a family or group members that they're cruising with, especially on larger ships when different individuals want to do different things. It makes a lot of sense. You know, mom and dad are off doing mom and dad things, and the little ones are off doing little one things, and friends and family. You know what I'm talking about. You've seen people using walkie-talkies on ships. This is not uncommon. It's not a thing 
you know, every cruise I've been on, I've seen someone using walkie talkies. And the article goes on to talk about other banned items here, other uses for walkie talkies. Um, it looks like there may be some prohibited channels that may be used in some maritime operations. Now that makes a lot more sense, a heck of a lot more sense to ban specific frequencies than to ban walkie talkies altogether. Now, most consumer walkie talkies, you have very limited frequencies that you can use. It's a very narrow band. And these little handheld walkie talkies, they're actually designed to not interfere with these more commercial bands of radio bands that maybe air traffic control is using or marine traffic is using, that kind of thing. So this band, yet another strange thing coming out from Norwegian Cruise Lines. I'm curious to hear your opinion on the walkie talkie ban, the ban hammer of walkie talkies from Norwegian Cruise Line. Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. While you're down there commenting, leave a thumbs up on this video. If you wish you were heading out on a cruise ship this week instead of having to go back to work on Monday. I can't believe it's Monday already tomorrow. Thanks for sticking in with this episode. Stay tuned because in about two hours, our next episode is dropping. It's about the cost of dining going up on a fan favorite cruise line. We'll see ya next time.